This is Denver 7 On Demand. Hi, I'm Katie LaSalle with the latest from Denver 7. Today, a bipartisan group in the state house voted in favor of the Barack Obama Highway. The proposal would rename the stretch of I-25 that runs through Denver. Democrat Dan Pabone, who sponsored the proposal, says Obama has a unique legacy here in Colorado. You'll remember he accepted the Democrat nomination at Mile High Stadium back in 2007. Tonight, more than 100 students came out for the first ever Vote for Our Lives rally in Jefferson County. The movement encourages young people to register to vote. Victims of the school massacre in Florida who inspired this movement were at tonight's event, along with victims of the Columbine massacre. $182,000, that's how much that the city of Denver has spent to defend Mayor Michael Hancock against a sexual harassment scandal. Records obtained by a team of local media outlets, including Denver 7, outline the payments made in the months before the city settled with Detective Leslie Branch Wise and fired the mayor's aide, Wayne McDonald. Branch Wise accused both McDonald and Hancock of sexual harassment, and in an interview with Denver 7, the mayor apologized for his actions. And we are preparing for a first alert action day tomorrow. Winds will be strong tonight, fire danger elevated. Friday and Saturday, rain turns to snow across much of the metro, upwards of a foot of fresh snow in the mountains, and a mix of rain and snow early Saturday morning in Denver before we warm up and dry out for Sunday. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks so much for joining us here. You can check back later on tonight for another update and download the free Denver 7 app for any breaking news and alerts. I'm Katie LaSalle.